Schedule some summer classes and also my next fall semester classes. I don't know why I do this to myself. I always think I can schedule something early enough so it forces me to like wake up early. I never end up being like fully awake for it. Also, good morning. Hopefully you're looking a little prettier today than me right now. Hello, I think you're muted. We're good, never mind. <laughs> I just need to turn up my volume. Oh. Those of you that don't know, I am now a cast major and I was previously a business major, which, you know, obviously I didn't like that much. Cast would be the abbreviation of child and adolescent studies, but I basically just needed some help scheduling what classes I should take. I also don't have one of the basic courses, like a one-on-one -on -one class. So I'm gonna do that over the summer, which means in the fall semester, I actually can't take any further cast classes because I haven't covered that one-on-one -on -one class. It looks like my fall semester is gonna look a lot like more GEs and a lot of practicum courses. So I'm not mad about that. I am kind of like all bummed out because I have been enjoying my past classes this semester. But I 100% recommend going to an advising appointment if you are having trouble either scheduling classes at a community college or even like knowing what classes to take for your major because they help so much. I desperately need to take off like the eye cross stuff my eye. I'm gonna do my bangs really quick. They look a little crazy. So I just wet my bangs a little bit. I just kind of got these curtain bangs as of recently. So like, to be honest, I don't really know 100% what I'm doing when I style them, but I feel like they still come out kind of good. not really sure if I should be rolling these forward or backwards. I guess it also depends on like the look that you're going for because I've seen people do it both ways and both either way look pretty adorable if you ask me. <laughs> This week I am a little bit stressed out. I have a literature review due by Monday and I haven't started it, but like a majority of the class I think has started it as well. I was asking around the other day and I was like, have you started, have you started? And everyone was like, and that for me is just like a sigh of relief because I myself don't feel like I'm super behind because everyone else is behind. I really want to devote like three days to just sitting at a cafe or a library and getting the shit done. I believe the minimum page amount is eight pages. I will say this is the only thing that I really have procrastinated this semester. And I think that really just comes from needing to be responsible enough to do it all on my own. I've heard a lot of other students talk about how their teacher, they would guide them weekly through their essays. That's kind of what I'm doing in another class where I've been doing my title page and my reference page and we've just been slowly accumulating the essay together. And honestly, I feel like if I was a teacher, I would have my students go through that method. One, because it prevents them from procrastinating it to the last minute and two, because you can help them throughout the process, which means I'll probably just get like an overall better grade. <laughs> The big giant pancake. Oh. Maybe get on video. On my video? Like, should I keep it in the middle? Like once, or should I put it in the left? From the middle, then. Bad pancake, Spanish. It is now 12.36. I have to head out to my 1 p- Oh my gosh, that was really horrible lighting. I have to head out to my 1 p.m. class. I feel a lot better because at 8, so now I have the energy for the rest of the day. Oh crap. My iPad is not charged. That's the only thing I need in this class. It literally looks like my pants do not fit me. You 
guys i've been getting so much good luck with parking lately like every time i'm like kind of late i will just happen to find a parking right away on the first floor <laughs> Not me having to write like my entire notes on the back of this paper and then also in my journal I was like kind of embarrassed to bring this out and like start writing in it for the most part today's actually going so well before at this point right now I would have felt like so stressed out but I feel kind of more excited if anything to like dive into these projects finish them and then like end with good grades <sighs> cheers drink your water forward in today's video i would like to thank the perfect sponsor for this video which is tome basically what tome is it's an ai storytelling format for unlocking your best work and ideas helps anyone build and share compelling narratives with any kind of context such as text images video prototypes live web content and so much more as a student tome is about to make your life so much easier this is where the beauty of tome comes in this is a little presentation that tome put together for me crazy yeah i know so i'm going to show you guys how you can make presentations from Tome. Basically what you do is you click on the create feature right in the corner. You have a few options here. The ones that I've been messing around with is create a presentation about. You're going to type in here literally whatever you're looking to create a presentation about. I'm just going to put in how to create a lesson plan. This would generate a presentation on my subject. This is so cool. If I wanted to change the theme of it, say you want to do like a different color, white, everything gets changed to that color, we could do green. Oh, the thing about Tome is that they're very good at hitting the aesthetics, which I'm all about, obviously. If I do want to change this image, you can actually go into their AI image feature. And basically what you do is I'm going to put in like a prompt. So teacher in a classroom. It does take a little while to generate, but eventually you get some of these pictures. You could incorporate this. Even this one, you can even change all the text of this. Say you want to like phrase it in different ways. You can always delete these parts and go in and change it. A bunch of other features that you can mess around with on here are to the right. You can see that you can incorporate videos. I believe you can also add links to a certain like website and you paste the link and it'll put it into your presentation or your slide. If you are currently in your final season, if you are in your last month of school and projects and essays is all you can think about, this is probably going to be a game changer for you. It also might be something fun to just play around with, experiment with. Again, thank you to Tome for sponsoring today's video. Thank God it's still bright outside. I just finished my workout. I'm so hungry. <gasps> I'm like out of breath. I do work out mostly in between like three to seven. So in the afternoon because in the mornings I just don't have the energy for it. The only thing about this time is like it's so busy. And all I could think about when I was working out was what I'm gonna have for dinner. Guys, I'm debating if I should go to Olive Garden to surprise my boyfriend because he's serving there. To Whoa, wait, I'm so sorry. I just got distracted by my arms. He's working right now and he just started his new job there. My excuse to go would be I'm treating myself for this long week ahead and I feel like that would kind of make him happy just showing up. Okay, this is what I've been doing recently so that my hair doesn't get wet when I go in the shower. How do I look? Okay, slang for Olive Garden. Also my armpits, I look so much better. Not gonna lie, I am a little nervous to just sit there and eat by myself, but I've done that before. I don't know why. I think it's just this time I'm like nervous because he's gonna be like, Are you eating by yourself? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just here to entertain. <laughs> I know yesterday that I said I was excited about all my projects and essays, but I take that back. I think this is when it's hitting me. I'm starting to realize I actually gotta start these things. Yeah, let's get the day started. I'm 
currently in one of the study rooms that they have in the libraries however i did not reserve this one so i'm unsure someone's gonna like come in and say they reserved it which it does say like you can use it if it's unoccupied but if someone comes and like says that they reserved it then you have to like leave it but luckily these do have outlets so that's exactly what i need I've been here since one and it's almost five o'clock um, and I haven't even gotten anything written down. I was kind of accumulating like information from all the articles that I have and organizing that into like the topics that I'm going to talk about. So I guess I was just like structuring the essay but like haven't really written anything because honestly I had like no idea what I was even going to write so I was like okay I have to start from the very beginning and really organize it. It's kind of bad but whenever I do write my essays I always just go into it without any type of structure beforehand just start writing it and then I'll always hit like a plateau and be like I don't even know what I'm writing about so I think this is the way to go out for the day even though I literally didn't get a single paragraph done We got through the first page to like a page and a half ish so at least i got my foot in the door i don't know when it comes to like essays like this where i just am not that i wouldn't say not interested but like like i need to just feel kind of like connected to the topic in a like very passionate way in that sense i can just write like it just flows and goes you know with this one i am a little bit stunted i also was gonna go to sleep earlier but i am gonna stay up till 12 because it's gonna be my roommate's 20th birthday <laughs> I'm in my 300 class right now. Sometimes this class is online and then sometimes it's in person. It just depends on the week. Right now we're doing like a group worksheet and I'm gonna write all the responses. Also, I'm literally on Zoom on my phone. Honestly, I woke up four minutes late, so I just hopped on my phone really quick, which is kind of the beauty of things being online. So all these people, they can do the most extraordinary crazy things, but you can't I feel like the wizard Liz just like called me out on my poor organization skills. No, because my room has been honestly a mess. I am really exposing myself out here because this is real life. Organization and like just being tidy and clean 24 seven is something that I am still working on. But I wanted to show you guys this just to show you that, you know, half of what you see online is not really what you, is not even the full picture. Better way to word it. You guys do not see my down, bad, awful moments. And this goes for every person out there that you might idolize. Yes, look up to them and feel inspired by them, but also do not think that that person 
person is perfect in any means because we are all human and that's the beauty in life without learning and like having our flaws there's really nothing you can learn from anyways i do need to clean up my room but i will be doing that in a future video also skin is looking absolutely beautiful for those of you that don't remember i said that retinol was eating at my skin it was drying it up there was a lot of redness in this area i feel like it's definitely gone significantly down and skin just looks beautiful we are smart we are beautiful we are creative and we are leveling up today is going to be so slay have an incredible day so much love energy growth we're going to get a's on our quiz and it's gonna be such a good day quick shopping for Anna since I haven't been able to get her a gift yet. I'm not gonna be tempted to shop for myself because I wanna do a whole like shopping vlog for like self-care, makeup products, and clothing soon. I feel like one of these kids would literally be perfect for her. We're going to the beach to celebrate Anna's 20th. This is the like outfit. It's honestly really not that beachy whatsoever. This little bodysuit that's like one shoulder is from Princess Polly and the, the pants. Oh, these are from Garage. Oh, it's, it's like a mini table. Stress is off my shoulders. It's submitted. Ah!